Hello, Freeport High School students. It's once again time to begin course registration for the next school year. This presentation, created by our guidance team for rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors, will provide you with an overview of the registration process, important graduation requirement reminders, as well as the descriptions of the many diverse classes, programs, and opportunities available to all Freeport High School students. Let's get started. Now for some definitions. As we move through the presentation, it's going to be important for you to understand what a credit is and the difference between a core class and elective class. A credit is where a student can earn one credit for a course that lasts all year or a half a credit per course per semester. A core class is a class in which a student must take in order to graduate. For example, English. An elective class is classes outside the required core curriculum that you get to choose for fun. GPA or grade point average. This is extremely important as your grade point average has either already started if you're currently taking Algebra 1 or Geometry. But for the most of you, your GPA will start next year when you begin ninth grade. This is the total of all the grade points received over a given period divided by the total number of credits awarded. Look to your right to see the example. This is a typical ninth grade core schedule. Student is enrolled in seven classes and they earn a B for English, an A for Algebra 1, a B in Physical Science, an A in Hope PE, an A in their online class, and an A and a B in their elective classes. The total points equal 21. So you take the total points, 21, and divide by the number of classes, 7, and that's how you re receive your GPA, 3.0. Your GPA is extremely important, guys, because as you move forward, this will open up opportunities for you through dual enrollment and clubs. Here are the graduation options. There's the standard 24 credit option for students pursuing a four year standard diploma. And then there's the 18 credit option. 18 credit sounds great, but it's mostly designed for students that are pursuing graduated in three years time that have previously been retained and or at risk for dropout. For the 24 credit option, you must earn four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of science, three social studies, a credit in either fine or performing art, speech, debate, or practical art, one credit of Hope PE, eight electives, and a half a credit of an online course. The additional requirements that you must meet is a 2.0 GPA, a C average. You must pass the FSA ELA reading exam you must pass the Algebra 1 EOC and take the U.S. History, Biology, and Geometry EOC. The 18 credit option. Again, this is recommended for students who are credit deficient and or have been previously been retained or not, do not plan to full-time dual enroll their junior and senior year either at Northwest Florida or Emerald Coast Technical College. You must double up in English and math one year, which is difficult to do. So we cannot pursue this option without having a meeting with either myself or an administrator. The requirements, four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of science, three credits of social science, three credits of electives, and then one credit in either a fine or performing fine art, speech and debate, or practical arts. Again, you must have a 2.0 GPA, pass the FSA ELA reading in 10th grade, and take the Algebra 1 EOC and pass it, and take the U.S. History, Biology, and Geometry EOC. While I will not spend a lot of time covering Bright Futures at this time, I want you to be aware of the different scholarships that you can work towards. There's the Academic, the Medallion, and the Gold Syllabicational. I always tell my students to shoot for the academic or the medallion scholarship as your number one option because it pays more towards tuition. However, utilize Gold Silvocational as a backup option. 
I bring this to your attention because as you're making your elective options, you want to think about Gold Seal Vocational as a sequence. You will need to take three vocational classes in sequence. Again, just a reminder, your core classes are the classes that are required for graduation. That covers your English, Math, Science, Social Studies, Hope PE, your Fine Arts or Practical Art, and your online class. Elective classes are the classes that you get to choose that are not core graduation requirements. However, intensive reading trumps an elective. So once we receive FSA scores during the summer, we will review those and then place you based upon your status. Advanced Manufacturing Technology is a course that focuses on the technical certification that translates to employment after high school. It's also a sequence for Bright Futures, Advanced Manufacturing Technology 1, 2, and 3. This is an industry-led training, assessment, and certification system focused on the core skills and knowledge needed by the nation's production workers. It's hands-on with welding and learning technical skills, as well as online. Criminal Justice Operations. These courses cover criminal, civil law, and procedure, constitutional rights, how to work within a crime scene and interview suspects, gain skills in law enforcement, as well as forensics and public safety. Criminal Justice Operations 1 and 2 allows you to earn your 911 certification and come out job ready. This is also a bright feature sequence with Criminal Justice Operations 1, 2, or 3. So consider these courses if you're considering work in law or law enforcement. The Information Technology Academy is one of several academies that we offer here on campus. By taking the sequence of courses, Digital Information Technology, Administrative Office Technology, and Business Software Applications, this will provide you certifications as well as college credit. It's also a bright feature sequence for Gold Silver Vocational. Students enrolling in our music, chorus, and theater courses will have the opportunity to practice their skills within the classroom in addition to showcasing their talents at competitions, sporting events, and community productions. Foundations of Robotics is a new and interesting elective to the FHS curriculum. We're in our second year and our instructor, Mr. Driver, is working on taking teams to competitions. In this class and sequence, you work on coding and engineering projects that include robots, drones, 3D printing, and other unique tools. Again, this sequence is a Bright Futures Gold Silver Vocational sequence. For performing fine arts, we offer Art 2D, 3D, Creative Photography, and Yearbook. You can meet your fine arts requirement in the art room or having a lasting impact by helping design and build the school's yearbook. Next year, we plan to offer to upperclassmen an intro to art history as well as we move forward and in progressing into AP art history. We offer on campus Spanish 1 and 2 and American Sign Language 1 and 2. Two years of a foreign language is required for Bright Future Scholarships, NCAA Athletics, and College Admissions. Culinary Operations 1. We're so excited to be able to offer this to our students again. It's an extremely popular course. Culinary 1 will cover food safety and focus on food preparation. It will also allow you to work toward your safety certification. And again, this is a course sequence for Bright Futures, Culinary Operations 1, 2, and 3. Our agriculture courses are designed for students to develop an understanding of agricultural history and its global impact, as well as career and business opportunities. Students will also explore important biological, environmental, and safety principles. Freeport's agricultural program has placed a special emphasis on aquaculture and hydroponics. Employable juniors and seniors can take advantage of Freeport High School's unique on-the-job training or OJT program. 
The OJT program is designed to place students in a desired and interested career field off campus. There, they'll gain valuable skills working as paid employees during school hours. This slide lists all of the sports that we currently offer at Freeport High School. We only have a few sports that we offer though as an elective period during the day. Baseball, basketball, football, softball, and weightlifting. All other sports are after school activities. If you'll also notice, we do offer eSports as a club. Yes, that's right, eSports. This is our first year offering this as a club and it's been wildly successful. Our students have entered many tournaments and have won or placed at all of these tournaments. So we're very excited about this opportunity. Advanced placement. These courses are nationally standardized and allow students to take a college level course here on campus. The big difference between this course and a honors course is a level of rigor as well as the ability to earn college credit. Students will earn high school credit in the class upon completion. At the end of the year, they'll take an AP exam in that course to determine whether they earn college credit. Typically, credit's given between a score of three to five. You do not have to meet dual enrollment requirements, which is a 3.0 GPA and standardized test scores in order to take AP classes. However, it is recommended that you are a level three or higher reader. And again, we recommend a strong work ethic. Freeport High School has a wide variety of advanced placement AP courses shown here. When completing your course request, make certain to select an appropriate course that aligns with your grade level and sequence of study. Freeport High School is not just one of two schools in the county that offer the prestigious AP Capstone program, but we are also just one of over a thousand schools worldwide who offer it. If a student graduates with the AP Capstone Diploma, they are given a Diploma of Distinction that most colleges favor in the admissions process, and they can earn up to six college credits. Freshmen are strongly encouraged to start this process by taking AP Human Geography or AP Computer Science Principles. Both of these courses will count toward the Capstone requirements. The actual AP Capstone Seminar and Research classes are taken as juniors and seniors. Students work on a research project of their choice. I've mentioned dual enrollment several times, but what is dual enrollment? This is the opportunity to earn high school credit and college credit at the exact same time, either through Northwest Florida State College or Emerald Coast Technical College. You'll have opportunities on campus, for example, through dual enrollment college algebra, pre-calculus and environmental science, and off-campus through full-time or part-time. While you will not be able to qualify for dual enrollment until the end of your ninth grade year, I think it's a very important that you're aware of your opportunities and the requirements for dual enrollment. Through Northwest Florida State College, we offer both on-campus and off-campus courses. For example, did you know that you can earn your AA degree at the same time you graduate high school? That's an option that you have during your junior or senior year to participate in full-time dual enrollment. Or you can remain on campus at FHS and still earn college credit. The requirements are that you have at least a B average, a 3.0 unweighted GPA, and that you have college readiness scores on the ACT, SAT, or the PERT. Don't worry, we'll cover this again next year, guys. Emerald Coast Technical College is also a wonderful opportunity. This is a technical school that offers certifications in automotive service technology, cybersecurity, nursing, cosmetology, and welding. The requirements are that you maintain a 2.5 GPA or a BC average and that you take the TABE test. Again, notice the GPAs, guys. It's very important when you begin next year that you start fresh and you keep your grades up. When completing your course registration forms, Consider the types of classes you select. Here are five reasons why you should consider taking more challenging courses this upcoming school year. Number one, 
Colleges will carefully look at the rigor of courses taken in high school when making admissions decisions. Number two, colleges know that rigorous courses better prepare you with knowledge and skills needed for their courses as well as future jobs. Number three, students who take challenging courses in high school are more likely to be better prepared and score higher on standardized tests like the ACT and SAT. Number four, Taking challenging courses such as AP or dual enrollment will decrease the likelihood of having to take remedial courses in college and allow you to spend less and finish early. And finally, number five, taking more challenging courses in high school will give you more options and pathways for both college and career. When completing your course selection forms, you'll notice that the front page includes course recommendations from your core content area teachers. The back page includes your elective choices. Please select your top elective choices, rank them, and bring this completed form with you to your registration appointment. If you would like to view this presentation again, you could go to the FHS website at fhs.walton.k12 Dot fl dot us and select the guidance tab. From there you'll find this PowerPoint, additional registration forms, a Bright Futures presentation, a North of Florida State College presentation, as well as the Emerald Coast Technical College presentation. Registration night for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students will be held March the 23rd from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Freeport High School Media Center. Students, may sign up for an appointment time online using Sign Up Genius. Please bring a parent or guardian with you as well as review the materials with them prior to coming. Videos covering registration, dual enrollment, and other important registration topics are available on the Freeport High School website. You may also book an appointment virtually through Microsoft Teams on registration night. If you have any questions, we encourage you to write it down on your packet or on your course selection form. Your advisor that meets with you will be able to answer and or myself or an admin will come over to the table and assist you. Again, if you have a question specific to your core recommendation, please speak with your academic teacher as to the recommendation. Again, we look forward to seeing you and welcome to the FHS family.